Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with NVX and today we're going to be doing a dyno on our all new NDA 604. Uh, we've got the amplifier already hooked up. Uh, we've got it bridged so that way we could load down uh, all the channels and so that way we get an accurate rating. Now this particular series is dynamically rated. So we're going to start with the dynamic test first and then we'll go to our certified so you can actually see what you get out of this amplifier. Now it is rated at 100 by 4 at four, uh, 160 by four at two, and 320 by two bridged. And so uh, we're gonna show you that right now. Let's get started. All right, guys, as I mentioned earlier, this amplifier is hooked up and bridged. We're first gonna start with our uh, dynamic run here. Now, of course, since it is bridged, we are gonna do eight ohms, which is gonna give us our four ohm rating. And then when we're done with that, we're gonna be, a, we're gonna do a four ohm rating, which will give us our two ohm rating because it's bridge. So um, let's go ahead and start there. We're gonna do track two and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so it's just about done here. I'm gonna take the lowest number to obviously be fair, 243 watts divided by two since it's bridged. That gives us 121.5 watts per channel uh, when it was rated for 100 at four ohms. All right, so this is what this, this result we're gonna get here is gonna be what this amplifier will put out at two ohms. All right, 434 watts is our lowest number here. And we divide that by two, that gives us 217 and we rate it for 160. Now what's great about this being loaded down like this is this actually also takes care of our bridged rating as well. So it's supposed to give you 320 watts by two bridged at four ohms. And so we're actually getting 434 by two essentially. Um, as you can see, taking the low number. So of course that's at 15.4 volts, um, but uh, that is our dynamic number. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to our certified numbers. And let's go ahead and get that started. Now, 262 is our lowest number here, 262 divided by two. That gives us 131. So that would be 131 watts by four at four ohms is that rating. Now let's keep continuing on here and let's go to um, our two ohm rating. And this will also serve as our bridge rating as well too. All right, 368 watts divided by two, 184. It's rated at 160. And of course, bridge, we're getting 370 watts basically times two. So not only does this amplifier extremely outperformance rating at the dynamic rating, but it also surpasses its certified rating as well. All right, guys, as you can see, the NDA 604 definitely outperformed and is a very powerful amp and a small chassis. I know the numbers were a little confusing because we did them bridged, the amplifier was bridged, and then we cut that in half to give you what the respective four and two ohm uh, ratings would be. And as I, as I said in the beginning of the video, we did that intentionally to make sure all the channels on the amplifier were loaded down. So that way it gives us the most accurate reading. Um, so we wanna make sure we were transparent about the power that you could expect out of this amplifier. For more information and details on the specs of the NDA 604, make sure you check the link below. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more awesome dyno videos like this. I'm Alan, I'll see you next time.